hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i personally make my lower threads using obs only so this is what i do when i open my obs and i want to add a lower thread uh, i come to down here where there is a plus sign under sources on the add sign then from here I use the color source okay so before I start that I will be playing a, a loop video in the background which can mimic a real camera in real time okay so I'll use this video okay there we are all right so like I said I use OBS to make my lower threads without using Photoshop. How do I do it? It is very simple, very easy. Just pay attention. You come here under sources, you come on the add sign, and you go on color source. You add a color source. I'll use two colors. I'll use gray and orange. So this one I'll name it gray. After naming it gray, then I will say okay, and I'll just like the way it is, I'll leave it the way it is, the same gray. Then under the width and the height, I'll come and change something. On the width, I will put 400, and uh, on the height, I'll put 100. Okay, so I'll have something like this. From there, I'll say okay. Then I'll drag it to where I want it to be. Usually, I usually like it right here at the bottom. So I'll drag it right there. I don't like it in the edges so much, but I like it to be off edges a bit. Okay, I hope you've mastered this process of adding a color source. I will do that again now adding another layer of the color source this time around it will, it will be in a color orange okay so I'll come on the add sign and add a color source I'll name it orange and say okay then uh, I'll select the color and I think uh, the orange I'm talking about is this one. Okay. Then I'll say okay here. Then I'll come and change the width and the height. So this time around, my width will be uh, 700. And um, I'll maintain height for the height. Don't be confused. It's very simple. You can do it on your own. After this, make sure you practice. You see that it's very simple. Say, and then I'll come and say, okay, here. I'll drag this and bring it where the other, the other, the other, the other one was. Okay. Let me look at it. How is it looking like? Um, it's out of alignment. So I will, I will make sure that I align it a bit like that. How is it looking now? Okay, almost there. So, uh, with this have, uh, being done, I'm almost there. I can uh, easily uh, change the size. I can enlarge it. I can minimize it. I can adjust from the edges just like that. I can move it up a bit until it comes uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the specification. Of the dimensions that I want okay like I said I don't like my things to be right in the very edges so I will I will like this to be moved a bit but basically this is how I make my lower third okay so from here what do I do I group these things I group my my two uh, color sources together I'll select the gray and I'll select the orange then I'll, I'll right click and I'll say group selected items like this. When I select that, 
uh, the, the, a, a prompt to name this group will come. I will write it, I will name it as lower page. Lower page. Okay. So it is very important to uh, to group your items because like the way it is right now, if I select it like this, if I want to move one thing, everything moves together because they are now in a in a group. But if they are not move uh, grouped together, if, if I move the orange one, the gray one will be lagging behind. So, like I said, I don't like them to be right by the edge, but like giving uh, some space like this. Once I'm done like that, okay, so it's looking like this. Um, of course, I do not transition until I finish my work here. This is just for tutorial purposes. Okay, so this is how I do it. Once this is done, then I add in the text which I need. So for this one, um, of course, there will be the topic on top. Then down there will be uh, the narration of, the, of, of, of what I'm broadcasting. So for this uh, 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 tutorial, I'll just write something funny, not really serious. Okay, what can I think of? Okay, I'll, I'll think of subscribe. I hope you have subscribed. Subscribe. Okay. Um, and my text there will be subscribe. I hope you have subscribed. Okay, my font size will be somewhere um, 48. And I want it to be bold. Okay. Subscribe. Um, let me choose the color. So when it comes to colors, I'll interchange. The orange which is here, I'll put it there. The gray which is here, I'll put it here. I like it this way. You can put it in way in whichever way that you you, you like. Okay. So this it was this one. So I'll say okay there and okay there. So my subscribe is there. From here, I'll have to align it in my lower third. I'll drag it like this and bring it right there. Let me check how it's looking like. Okay, it needs to come to the bottom a bit, to the bottom of the gray. Somewhere there, let me check how it's coming. Okay, I'm almost there. Can I, maybe I enlarge it a bit? Yeah, so that you guys can really subscribe. Okay, down here, I'll put in another text. Uh, something funny, what can I think of? That some, Okay, yeah, something like like, comment, like. Okay, so here I'll say like like comment and share. Okay, that will be my funny, funny, funny text. Um, I'll maintain since down here it's a bit bigger. I'll put um, seventy two. Let me check how the tool come out like. It'll be bold, of course. And um, uh, the color will be interchanged. Where is the font color? The color. I'll change it. Uh, okay, so there is this one. Where you can pick a color from the screen. So I'll say pick screen color. This will come and detect the color on the screen. So I want this gray. So I'll pick that and I'll say okay. And where are we? Okay again. And there we are. I'll bring this text and align it to to my to my, to my background box there. Okay. If you want it to be properly aligned, always use a control key when you're moving it. Okay, so here we are guys. That is my lower third. I hope you've learned something. Kindly drop me um, uh, 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 something in the comment section. If you have learned, uh, give me a comment. Let me know where I, where, where I did well. If I was too fast in explaining, please let me know. If I was audible enough. If there is any topic that you'd like us to uh, discuss, on how we can uh, make 
live streaming easy. I always tell my students that live streaming should not be made complicated. Look at how simple this was. So, like I did to the lower third, I'll come to my text, and since they are part of the lower third, I'll bring my text inside the lower third. How do I do it? I will select them and drag and drop them in the folder named lower third. Okay, how do I open to see what is inside? There is this arrow, and I open it like that. This is what is inside. Let me show you the, the advantage of, of, of putting things in, um, in groups. Let's say if I want to make this a bit smaller, I'll just come there and once I adjust everything, the text, the backgrounds, and everything will move together right at once. And I'll have something like this. This has been your friend, Daniel. Make sure that you support our channel by sharing to other guys who would like to learn the hacks of live streaming the easy way. Thank you. Signing out.